Greetings ladies and gentle fish, here is a replay in a tank that I've never shown before because I haven't owned it for very long, the AT-8, British Tier 6 TD. Now a couple of things you might immediately notice, one, I appear to be carrying quite a lot of ammunition, and two, of that ammunition quite a lot of it appears to be APCR. So, premium. And I make absolutely no apologies for that because in this video I'm using the stock gun. I haven't upgraded a better gun yet. The second gun on this thing is a 75mm gun. For those that played it, it's basically the same gun that you get on the Excelsior. Um, so it completely sucks. You might as well just stick with the 6 pounder. Uh, I have since uh, up, uh, researched the 77mm gun, which I now have on this machine. But at the time I didn't, I had the stock gun. So screw you, I don't care that I've got a load of premium ammo. I'm not just going to spam it. Um, you can see I've loaded AP by default, but I mean, come on, this is a slow TD that will get into tier 8 games. I'm going to need some APCR just to grind out a, a gun that doesn't completely suck. This is a horrible stock gun, and as a result, this is a horrible stock tank. Not the worst, pretty damn bad. Um, someone's saying, look at your minimap, AT8. I'm looking at my minimap. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to see. Yeah, there's a heavy that appears to have gone to the middle. I'm not really sure why. Maybe he's trying to point out the fact that we don't have anything going south. But frankly, uh, this gun is absolutely no good at range. You have to use it up close, which is a problem because the AT armor, AT8's armor is rubbish. Worse than the AT2. And I don't mean worse for its tier. I mean actually worse. If you put an 88 into a tier 5 game, it is easier to kill, or easier to get damaging hits on, than an 82. The armour on this thing sucks. It says 203mm, yeah, okay, it, that's 203mm on about half the front of the tank. The other half is thinner, and that's not even paying any attention to the massive Great Commander's tower on the top. Anyway, there's a KV-1. We can't penetrate into regular AP, and a Cromwell gets in the way, which is kind of annoying, so we switch back to AP for the Cromwell, because we can hurt him with it. And then we're back to APCR for the KV-1, and we're just going to plough APCR into this KV-1 until he goes away. Oh, we set him on fire, jolly good. And so there's an APCR into the side of a Churchill as well. Boom. I switch back to AP, and no, Churchill disappears. Now, yeah, okay, I'm kind of wasting a little bit of time. I mean, this gun has a quick reload, but I'm wasting a little bit of time switching between shell types. Because I don't want to completely bankrupt myself having to fire APCR at this damn gun. I'm using AP where I can. And hello! Now you can see... That commander's tower, I thought I whinge about it being a weak spot. In order to reliably penetrate... well... This gun has 110 penetration with AP ammo. That will not reliably penetrate the weak spots on these AT tanks, the British TDs. And you can see this guy has a better gun than me. He's either got the 77mm or the 17-pounder. Uh, um, I have a worse gun, but you know what? Oh! <laughs> Forgotten about that. Oh dear. There's an ass kill. Um, Oh, and that KV-1 earlier on burned to death, by the look of it, which gave me another kill, so I'm on three kills already. Um, what are you? Oh, you were a KV-2, but now you're dead. Four kills. Um, what was I saying? I can't even remember. Oh, there's a Churchill. Quick, kill the Churchill! Oh, yes. In order to penetrate the weak spots on these things, you need better penetration than that, really. And this guy apparently is just going to try and get round me, which isn't a stupid idea, but he's a Churchill, he's not making a very good job of it. And it means I can just plough AP shots into his side. And now I'm just going to plant them straight through the front of his turret, because the penetration isn't great, but it's enough to go through the front of a Churchill's turret. Kill four. Five even, sorry. I've lost track. I killed the uh, KV-2. Um... And I think that's pretty much it for this game. 
I was really chuffed at having racked up five kills, and I didn't know how much damage at this time, but a reasonably good amount of damage, and saved this town, I would like to point out. Um, you know, everyone else who went to the town died. And the Cromwell says, well done. Woo! <laughs> um, so I was really chuffed that I did all this with the bleeding stock gun. Yeah, I had to fire some APCR, but I don't care. With the stock gun, this thing sucks. Without the stock gun, I still don't like it. I haven't played many games in it, to be fair, but I still don't like it. And the game is still quite close, and I have most of my health left. So we're just going to trundle forwards. A genuine warrior. <laughs> we'll just trundle forwards and try and flush them out. And... Boo! Okay, KV-1 down. I loaded APCR to take care of the KD-1, but our Dicamax just blats him. So I go back to the AP. Um, as the rest of the targets are comparatively lightly armoured. I try and get some flanking fire down over there, but I just don't have the view range. If I sat still with the binos, it might help. But I decide just to keep advancing. And I got quite lucky in this game. But again, I'm not going to apologise for it because I've had some truly stupendously awful games in this thing. And I can't honestly say I really like the machine. And I can't honestly say I like it because it sucks. Ooh, there's some damage on the Cheeto. Come on! No, he's disappeared. God damn it. I wanted my top gun. And they're both over there, so, you know, might as well point my front to them. The only time when the armour on the 88 is really good is from range. And someone says Battle Ace for Chipmunk, and it was the nice Cromwell from earlier on. Um, and I say that, it is my opinion that for all of the awards, all of the achievements and stuff, Top Gun, Sniper, whatever, you should earn them. Uh, no one should ever give them to you. And so I'm not asking for someone to let me have Top Gun here. Let's just win the game. If I get one of them and I get Top Gun, cool. And if I don't, I've still done well. You know, I don't think you should ask for these things. I think you should go out and earn them. Um, so, the Cheeto was over by the uh, river, over at like J5 maybe. And the SC-100 was apparently last seen over here. So I'm going to try and flush the guy out. But, oh, he's moved. We've got a Churchill advancing on their base. I don't have eyes on the SU. But, oh, he just blatted the Churchill for a bit. He's using the 122 mil gun. And I get a hit on him. Oh, but the Churchill gets him. Never mind. And so I keep advancing up. And yes, this was quite an expensive game. You know, I've fired a good, what, 13 rounds of APCR? And it doesn't come cheap and it doesn't do much damage per shot. So I only. I can't remember if I made a profit on this game or not. If I did, it was small and it was only be oh there we go, Dicamax gets the Cheeto, and it was only because I had a premium account from an event from a, on the EU server. But anyway, that was, considering it's a tank that I don't really like, using a six pounder gun, it's a 57mm gun, stock gun, it's god awful, um, I didn't think that actually went too bad. And I, I tried not to just spam APCR. I don't like just spamming premium ammo. Um, I try and use it only against the targets that I have to and using AP where I can. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that game. Um, feel free to catch some of my other videos or if you want to, subscribe. If you don't, fine. Um, but good luck and happy hunting on the battlefield.